Lagos Island is always beautiful, it's always fancy, you know, it's always out of a place. We are rich people, or the wealthy ones in the society love living, you know, especially those in Lagos State, you know. Um, you know, everyone, almost everyone sees it as a luxurious place for the rich or for the wealthy ones, you know, but then when you see Lagos Island in a rainy season time, you know, that time of the year when uh, rain constantly falls, you know, that's when you will probably hit this island. Okay, now look at it. This is one of the islands in Lagos State. This is how floated the area looks like, you know. Assuming you come to uh, this area in a dry season time, you're gonna love it. I mean, everywhere will be free. You will see a lot of people doing businesses. You will see a lot of, like, everywhere will be free. But look at it. This is running season. And as you can see, almost everywhere is being floated. No, no space, like no chance for business people to continue their business, you know. So this is kind of one of the biggest challenge about this Lagos State Island, you know. Like it's one of the there are so many islands in Lagos State. We have um, Lake Vi, Ikoi. There are so many of them, but most of these islands actually have no proper uh, structure. Of uh, uh, no, I actually have no uh, drain, proper drainage system. You know, most of them actually have, most of them have zero drainage system. So whenever it rains like this, you know, if you will see flood all over the road. You know, there's the government. Should I say the government or those in charge of building some of all these estates didn't actually take their time to uh, structure out things, where put on, put out uh, a proper drainage system before. Uh, renting the the estates, you know, they just come out, you know, some of all these greedy fellows who are who are seriously seeking for money and all those stuff, you know, they just kind of start developing estates without properly uh, putting out the uh, the drainage system in place, you know. So this is why you can see almost all everywhere flooded and all that, you know, and this kind of impacting negatively uh, uh, on the business aspect because this areas you know there are a lot of people who does business here they are by generating revenue for either the government and for for themselves too you know so these kind of uh, this kind of things affect the those that's uh, those doing businesses in these areas you know? so i believe this is one of the side of lagos lagos island you know a lot of people don't actually see you know and you can only see these parts when there is a heavy rain you know that's when you can always see this one as you can see uh you also see in the case we are kids are also you know swimming through the flood you know because there was no actually way for them to pass these are these are students you know who are actually who are actually coming back from school there's no way you know they had to start swimming through the uh through the floor to pass through you know so this um, so that's how a lot of people are surviving and coping here, you know, hoping for, hoping that one day the government will come and do something for them, you know. So that's it. If you actually watch to the end, thank you for watching. My name is Brad Tobias, and don't forget to like and like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and I love you. Peace out.
Yeah, 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 yeah. 